who was a standout player for you? Pat, today, for uh, for Liverpool perspective anyway. Oh, I, I'll probably go for... Uh, I mean, difficult, you know, it was not the best game, but I think, you know, Salah played quite well. Curtis Jones, I would say, he scored the goal. I think he was uh, part of the first goal as well, so I would say him. Can I ask, now we've had a good chunk of the season done, what differences are we seeing from this slot side compared to the Klopp side? What's the evolution of the team, do you feel? I feel that, uh, you know, they they don't really panic to go forward as, as quickly as under Jurgen Klopp. You know, they try to control the ball, they try to control the game. And if they have a chance to go forward, if they feel, you know, this is the time to go forward, they go. And uh, with Jurgen Klopp, I felt like, you know, every time they got the ball, they were trying to go forward and score. <laughs> Do you prefer this? No, I think, you know, I mean, the, you know, every manager has a different ideas. Uh, but, you know, Jurgen Klopp left fantastic team behind him. Uh, you know, slot didn't really have to do that much. But obviously, the way he played in uh, Holland was successful. So I think he wants to play the same way over here. Yeah, I feel like obviously, you know, under Jurgen Klopp, it was more emotional football and, you, you know, an instinct, you know, the heavy metal type football. I think you've seen it today under Arne Schlott. When they go 2 1 up, that's enough for them. They don't want 3 1 or 4 1. Well, under Jurgen Klopp, it was 4 and 5s. So it is a more pragmatic approach. I said to Frank, even, you know, it would be difficult for me to play in this game because there's a lot of standing around and watching the game and waiting for people to pass the ball forward. At times, Liverpool need to be more brave to go and receive the ball with the back to goal. And I think we struggled a little bit today under that pressure, under that forward press from, che from Chelsea. Very good tactically today from Maresca. OK, we only have one minute left with you, Patrick, before we have to send you elsewhere to other broadcasters. So final <laughs> quick question for you. What would you consider a successful season Ooh. for Liverpool under Arne Slot, his first season, season in charge? I mean, to, to win a trophy. Any trophy. To win any trophy would be would be a good season for him, I think. You know, so far I'm on top of the table, play good football. I mean, couldn't really ask for more, but you know, it, it is a long season. Premier League is a tough competition. There is no easy games. And uh, you know, long way to go, but so far so good. So I think if if they win any any single trophy, you know, that would be a success. What about league position? Uh, top four in, in, in the Champions League. I think you know Champions League spot I think is the is the goal. Obviously, you know, if they if they win the league, that is going to be a big bonus. Do you feel they're contenders? No, I mean, they're top of the table. Well, so, it's yeah. early days, though. Yeah, but do I you know, think they I are mean, contenders? You know, I mean, they're still top of the table, and I know, as I said, you know, it, it is a long way till the end of the season. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I think you know they they're good enough to win the league. If everyone stays fit, mm -hmm. no suspensions, then I think they have a chance. Perfect. Thank you very much, Thank Patrick you very Berg. Much. All the best. Pleasure. Thank Always you. our pleasure, Always. sir. Cheers, Patrick. Great seeing you. All the best. I'll, I'll see you, take the mic from you. See Thank you, you once again. You Let's pass this back over there. Um, same question to you in terms of Liverpool, what they can achieve this season, because it is an electric start. I don't think even the most positive of Liverpool fans would have thought they will done so well straight away after mm. saying goodbye to Jurgen Klopp. Yeah, I think um, obviously the, the position they're in now, um, I wouldn't say it's a false position, but I, I say, you know, obviously City have faltered a little bit, Arsenal have faltered a little bit. Um, progress for me would be to qualify for the Champions League and keep building, you know, get, let's get to the January transfer window, let's see the players that we can bring in, because the squad does need strengthening a little bit. You, you've seen today, these teams were similarly matched today for me. I, I don't. I, th I thought Liverpool showed a little bit more composure, experience in defence. Well, that's why I'm asking about that question about what they can reasonably expect because of the lack of transfer activity in the summer compared to other clubs. Yeah, and I think that's why you know I'll, I will say, uh, you know, progress and, and a really good season is to qualify for the for the Champions League again next season and have a good run in the Champions League. But. Um, these next six, six weeks for Liverpool, it's going to be really, really tough. And the, the squad is going to be tested coming into that winter period. And, you know, if they can get maybe the next two or three weeks and still be top of the table, then I think they'll probably start to believe a little bit more in Arne Schlott's tactics.